Welcome to Poland Daily Travel, this time from Wrocław, from Cathedral uh, Island, or from the bridge between Cathedral Island and Sand Island behind me. Uh, you see the, the river just over here. This is the, uh, the other section, the northern section of the river, the southern one's over there. These islands just, the river splits and goes around them. It's quite, uh, quite picturesque. I have to say that uh, uh, this is one of the best micro locations uh, in Poland, uh, definitely in the top five. It is an uh, extraordinary place to come and walk. Uh, there's a few nice restaurants around there, even a couple of hotels. There's one over here you can stay in. And uh, in the summer, it is particularly nice. And the botanical gardens are right over to this direction. And uh, you'll see some of the nicest botanical gardens uh, uh, in Poland, particularly. Uh, one of the top two or three. Now, uh, much bigger than the one in, in Warsaw, for example. Anyway, this if we go around here, you get a look through the uh, through the bridge. Now at night, that's lit up, and you get a nice Christmas feeling. And uh, if if Christmas is at all about religion, uh, which I think it is, uh, then you can't get a better atmosphere than here between these two amazing churches. Um, this is the Church of the Virgin Mary here, and then the great cathedral there. There's another church here, which, whose name I forget. But you can find out all of these things either by reading or coming here. We just came to the other end of Sand Island. It's opposite where we just were in the previous segment. Uh, and this is where Wrocław began, of course. It's a very similar situation to, to as I said, to Poznan, uh, which also is worth seeing this time of year. It's, uh, it's Christmas time, of course. That's why we're here, uh, showing you the, the beautiful markets in Warsaw and particularly in, in Wrocław. It's a good time for us to remember uh, how lucky we are, we are uh, to remember our friends and family, and uh, to remember even uh, uh, strangers, uh, people that might need help this holiday season. Poland has been remarkably uh, philanthropic uh, dealing with the Ukrainian situation and uh, incredibly generous both as uh, on an individual level and on the level of a state. I mean you just scratch the surface and you'll find people giving time and money uh, since this uh, conflict began. And let's hope it, it will be over because there's far too much conflict. Uh, perhaps we can say a few prayers at Christmas for all the conflicts that uh, are happening both in the Holy Land and Israel and Palestine and also in Ukraine. And we can come, if we all collectively wish for peace, perhaps we can find a way, uh, a way to get there. Although victory is also important for the forces that are correct. Where I'm about to stand on uh, Sand Island. This is Sand Bridge, it's the oldest bridge in Wrocław. Not this particular one, but the bridge here is the oldest crossing. Uh, proper crossing, and this is to the main island, uh, uh, Ostromsky, well, Sand Island, and then uh, Ostromsky Island, where the cathedral is, uh, just over that way. Uh, as you can see, we've got perfect Christmas weather. We can get better than that. The one thing you don't want to do is film in the rain, but when it's snowing, not so bad. In fact, it, uh, it makes a very picturesque background as we see the people on their way to uh, classes and to work. There's a lot of students here in Wrocław. Now, have a look down here. We're gonna walk along this way. We go down here and you'll see a beautiful view along the Audra River. We've just been uh, uh, treading about in the snow. It's a very nice day, uh, as you can see. In the summer when we were here, this place was totally crowded with people. Uh, there were uh, little restaurants all along the uh, river walk here and uh, just streams of people making their way over to Cathedral Island. You see the ancient cathedral behind me. Uh, this is the place where Wrocław uh, began, uh, right here on this here island. Um, it, it said to me that the Christmas market, come back to Christmas market since it's Christmas time, the Christmas market in Wrocław is one of the top ones in, in Europe along with Poznan and of course 
Krakow. All three of them are lovely. We've been there. Uh, this is our first time in Wrocław coming to that Christmas market and it really is by far the biggest one I've ever seen. Lots of uh, things to amuse yourself and the family and some real good food to eat and all kinds of other things to try. That's a Kohamcha I Love You uh, uh, lollipop. And it's one of the biggest ones you'll ever see in your life. It's sold by this lady right here. Her name's Ivana. She's a very nice lady. Because she uh, trusted me to hold this big lollipop and all these people are walking around. We're at the crossroads of the market here in Wrocław. The crossroads of the market. Behind me is the town hall, just there. It's in the old town hall. Boy, they never saw anything like this in the medieval times or anything like this, which your dentist would just love you to, you, you to eat. I'm gonna hand it back to Ivona. Thank you, Ivona. And she's gonna give me my beautiful, my beautiful mug from drinking uh, mulled wine. And, and don't worry, uh, it was only a small one, so I'm still almost in control. Uh, behind me, as I was saying, here is, the, uh, here is the, the town hall, the ancient town hall. It's fantastic, fantastic place. And down here you have a whole line of uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, food and, and all kinds of uh, uh, items of clothing and handicrafts and things like that. I'm going to show you some of that. And uh, down this side as well, you have another line. I mean, this line here is just like the market in Warsaw, just that alone. So when I promised you a big Christmas market, I wasn't kidding. This rivals a German market. Um, it's, it's, it's big like the German markets, really. It reminds me of, uh, of Munich, but even Munich is not so, uh, so stylish. We're gonna keep walking through the market, just give you a few snapshots, quick, 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 of various things you can buy here in the market. And one of those is beautiful Christmas socks. Wouldn't know it. Uh, you wouldn't uh, guess it, but those beautiful Christmas socks, or you got these very warm kinds of socks here. Those are amazing. Those are like slippers you can wear at home. But these things are amazing too. These are very popular, the Magnes. Yeah, they have these from everywhere all over Poland. And look, Wrocław. I love Wrocław. Lots of things you can get here. This is very special stuff. The, uh, these are your candied sweets, a favorite of people like the British, the Germans. These are actually the Turkish ones. Everybody likes these. And uh, you can bet these would be really, really tasty if you were to come to this market in Wrocław. If you were to get some of these, you'd really enjoy uh, giving them as presents or sneaking some yourself before you give them away. But here's another thing you should know about. It is mead, what they called it in the medieval times, or what they call here, uh, drinking honey. It's hot and it's very good. It's also <laughs> something to keep you warm and happy during the winter month. And you can see here that all the different types of honey that you can make it from. And this is the, the drinking honey here. This is good stuff. This is a black uh, blackberry one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With pepperoni drink. And what, pepperoni? Tak, pepperoni. With, with pepper. That's very tasty. Venzona, venzona yeah, yeah, it's, got, it's, like, uh, it's like dried uh, pepper. It's just behind our camera here, Frozen in Stone, famous writer, Alexander Fredo, uh, who is, uh, uh, Fredro, I should say, uh, who, uh, there's a statue of him right behind. If our camera would swivel around, and there he is. This guy is really worth a story or two. He does, has a well-deserved place here. He's a wonderful writer, a comedian, comedic writer uh, in the 19th century. Uh, he's a man who was condemned for being too light-hearted, which, you know, is going to win a place in my heart, a fellow like that, condemned for being too light-hearted. Because, of course, he was a very serious guy, right? Try and write a comedy. It's very difficult. And people who can write good comedies, it's the hardest thing in the world to do in art. Ask Shakespeare, uh, who wrote some of the greatest comedies of all time, and uh, would totally agree with me, I'm sure. You know, you don't have to be in the hustle and the bustle of the market. You can go down one of these lanes, which go right through the middle of the market. You can see there's hardly anyone there. And then find yourself you know, quite alone and relaxing and until you're ready to, to join the crowds again. And when you're ready to join the crowds, here they are. 
And this is back where we started on our journey to, uh, to the Christmas market here in Wrocław.